afternoon, I'm Tom Collins. I'm the director of the Miami Art Museum and I am happy to welcome you to my first video blog in which I'm going to be tracking the construction of the new Miami Art Museum scheduled to open in the fall of 2013. I apologize at the outset for the terrible quality of this video, but I am a rank amateur. The new Miami Art Museum is being constructed on the north side of what will now be known as Museum Park, just north of the American Airlines Arena in downtown Miami, just on the Biscayne Bay, south of the Adrian Arsht Center for the Performing Arts, and just off Biscayne Boulevard. As of this sweltering August 11th, 2011, We've completed the foundations for the building and we've begun to go vertical on this garage level four that will be just below the grade level of the park. Right now I'm standing on the building mock-up where we test different building techniques and different materials for the final product. Contrary to popular belief, this is not the director's new office. It'll be torn down at the completion of the construction of the building, which is taking place behind me, and this will be the site of the plaza that connects the new Miami Art Museum to the new Miami Science Museum. As you can see, I've retreated inside the architectural mock-up because there's a storm brewing behind me. Fortunately for me, the sheet of glass behind me is the largest sheet of hurricane-proof glass in Florida. God. The new Miami Art Museum was designed by Herzog and de Muron, the Pritzker Prize winning architects who are probably best known for the Olympic Bird's Nest Stadium in Beijing. In conceiving this project, Herzog and de Muron were very much inspired by a local architectural vernacular form, and that is the form of what is referred to here in Miami as Stiltsville. For those of you that don't know what Stiltsville is, it is a group of buildings built on stilt pilings in the Biscayne Bay. This building, our museum, is actually also designed on stilts. These concrete stilts, a huge network of concrete stilts, elevates the entire building above both the park landscape and the Biscayne Bay. The building is actually a pavilion. The first floor, the main level, is an enormous veranda that wraps a series of public spaces enclosed. And then over top of the entire structure is an enormous louvered roof that hangs some 75 feet above the entrance deck. In between are sandwiched three floors of gallery spaces, other public gathering spaces, offices, a restaurant, a store, a bar, and many, many novel educational spaces. In total, the new Miami Art Museum facility is more than three times the size of our existing facility, and I hope its progressive design will continue to inspire us to generate the kind of progressive exhibitions and public programs we hope to offer to our expanded audience here in Miami. Until next time, many thanks for your interest in the Miami Art Museum and our new building project. If you'd like more information, you can visit our website at miamiartmuseum.org, and I hope to see you in downtown Miami.